and the next match coming up is a men's singles. As you can see, we've just completed the men's doubles and that went Chinese Taipei way, two games to one. Liu Darren of Malaysia, unseated against Kenta Sumiyama, also unseated from Japan. And here we have the draw in the men's singles. And you can see these two players are fighting for the honor to play either Kento Momota or Said Pranith of India. It's already been decided who will play in the top half in the semi final. And uh, as I just told you, Chen Long, the number eight seed, beat the uh, defending champion Victor Axelsen of Denmark. And here we've got the two players walking onto court. It's uh, Lou Darren from Malaysia leading the two players. And I must say that uh, if I um, had to guess who was in the quarterfinal in this quarter of the draw, I wouldn't have guessed this. Oh, how wonderful it is for the game to uh, have these surprises and upsets because that's also what makes it so interesting. The head-to-head -head between the two, Darren Liu. Liu Darren is set leading 1-0, but that was way back in 2015. That's a long time ago. He won, though, in two straight games, 16 and 15. here, Kanta Sunyama, and the profile here, age 22, 172 centimeters, and his ranking is at 27 today, and the highest he has been is 26, and that was just a few weeks ago, that was on the 19th of July. Just turned to 22. His way to this quarter-final has been very convincingly when he was upsetting in the second round to Ginting from Indonesia, winning in two straight games, 21-17, 21-13 in just 40 minutes. That was an awesome win. Lou Darren, on the other hand, more experienced, 30 years of age, 178 high, his ranking is 39, and he has been as high as number 10 on the world ranking. But that was quite some years back, almost five and a half years. That was on the 7th of March, 2013. But look at that, the way to this quarterfinal for Lou Darren. Beat number 13 seat Jonathan Christie in the first round, 12 and 16. And then yesterday in the quarterfinal, sorry, in the last 16 in the third round he beat Srikant Kidambi of India the number five seat 21-18 21-18 that was an awesome win by Lou Darren never been this far in, in a world championship before last time he was fine a world championship he got to the third round and he's playing as an independent player outside Bamson Association of Malaysia, which means that he is not in the national setup, but is seeking own sponsorship, having own training setup, and uh, of course, organizing everything himself. Done really well this year as well. Very impressive in the beginning of the year. We've got to two semi-finals here. Rohana De Silva of Malaysia. Sri Lanka. And the service Lord. judge is uh, Christian Johannesson of Denmark. Play. So, Lou Darren to surf.
One, two. So Lou Darren here in the picture just before is a very strong attacking player and has been benefiting for the fact that, uh, as I've mentioned earlier, this is quite a slow haul. But for him, with that strong smash, it has been no problem to one. still score his points. He's very, very fast on his legs. Good attacking player. But if anything should be said about him in terms of where he needs to improve, it's definitely on his defence. But so far he's not needed it. He's played really, really well. Fast and furious, attacking as what we see here, finding the corners Four, very nicely. One. Good start, 4-1 up. For Lou Darren. And there's no doubt that the man in the picture here, Suniyama, this is what he wants. Of course, he wants uh, his opponent to make mistakes, but getting the rallies going, make sure that he can use his running abilities, make sure that he can stress his opponent in terms of physical, and this is really his game. He's a very fast player, he's a good runner, but his attack is not so strong. So it's two contrasting styles playing here. With Lou Darren, the attacking player, we've got the coaching bends of Five, Malaysia. Two. And two coaches from this national setup is actually helping out here, and I think that's very nice to see. It was uh, Tay Su Bok, who have been looking after Lee Chong Wei for years and years in the men's singles, but now in the women's singles. And then Rosman Rasak, who is the head coach of the women's doubles. But that is going way out. For Lou Seven Darren. Three, five. And Suniyama closing the gap just to two points here. And Darren really have to watch out uh, that Suniyama is not just Four, five. getting steamrolling, getting everything back, forcing these errors and mistakes from, uh, from him, and then he's got to watch out. Stay very cool. Stay very sharp and play his shots to perfection. Service over. Six, four. Good play by Suniyama there, finding that deep forehand corner with a small disguise. And this is definitely some of the things that uh, Lou Darren doesn't like. He doesn't like to be pushed into those deep corners at the back. He wants to lift, he wants to attack, he wants to follow up. As you can see, Suniyama is really trying to keep Six, everything four. low, keep it below the tape as this one attacking, not 100%, but just these three-quarter smashes that he is still in balance, not out of balance, and able to follow up as what we just saw here. Fall out, but we have a challenge. I think it's a good challenge, but it's very, very close. Let's see what Hawkeye has got to say. It can go either way. Six all it is. Suniyama here in the picture. Bit of challenge, but he is unsuccessful. It is in. unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. That means he's got one challenge remaining. You get Service two over. challenges per game. Seven, six. And if you're unsuccessful, you lose it. Play. If you are successful, however, you will keep it.
Drew Downer still in the lead here, 7 6. Yeah, good variation here by Sunyama. Well, very often favours to go straight down the line. But here we see some of the weaknesses in the defence exposed. Drew Darren is having a very, very high centre of gravity, which means it's very difficult for him to get down to it and really change direction. Play here once again by Sunyama, but once again we see how he's trying to keep it low, make sure that he's not giving any attacking opportunities to Luderen. Luderen, he uh, left the uh, training set up in the uh, Bampton Association of Malaysia in early 2016, as he felt he was probably not a priority player anymore, and. Uh, BAM wanted to go for younger players, and he has done really well outside the setup. He won the French Open in 2012, where he actually beat Victor Axelsen, but that was a very, very young Victor Axelsen in that final. Sugiyama here is doing the very right thing. Try to have a look how he is twisting and turning Lou Darren here. He wanted to go straight up and play a, a drop shot on the backhand side, but Sugiyama twisted it back to the forehand side and forced Lou Darren to change direction, and thereby he missed it. Sunyama in the lead for the first time in this opening game, 10-9. Mistakes nine. that the Malaysian really have to try to avoid. A very clever play here by Sunyama, really not giving any options for Luderin to attack. Coach Tay Subok. I still remember a few years back, that was in 2014, I was uh, walking into the bus after the Thomas Cup final, and Lou Darren, he was Eleven, sitting here. He had lost that final match when he was 2-0 against Japan, against Takuma Ueda. He was extremely disappointed. So I remember, you know, ben just saying to him, you know, bad luck, keep trying. But you could see that was a man in despair. Thomas Cop means the world to Malaysia. And they had a great opportunity in that final against Japan in 2014.
taking the first two points here after the uh, mid-game interval, and uh, the score is 11-11. Yeah, good play by Lou Darren. Really putting a lot of pressure on the uh, back court. Forcing Sugiyama to run from side to side, but of course he also have to cover the front court, which means he's got a big court to cover at the moment. Lou Darin is like standing in the middle and really controlling that rally nicely. 12-11, three points after the interval. Four points. See, once again, really trying to push into the deep corners there by Lou Darren. This time it's going too long on the back line, but the idea was good. And we saw a little bit more urgency in the attack of Sunyama here. I think he knows that he must be keep attacking. The favourite shot, always nine out of ten times, he will go cross court from the uh, forehand side, as what we saw here in his attack, and from the backhand situation around the head, he will go straight. So a lot of attacks will go down the forehand of Lou Derrin. Well left. So we saw a 14, 13. Sunyama here, part of the team from Japan that won the silver at the Thomas Cup, and he played at the third men's singles in that team. Consists of three men's singles and two men's doubles. Thomas Cop, the World Championship for men's team, as the Uber Cup is the World Championship for women's teams. Finding the line very, very sharp. Again, here we see the attacking capabilities of Lou Darren. Really very steep. But trying to look at how much he is in balance. He's not really going 100% on it, but the technique in which way he plays is making it so easy for him. Well left. 16, 14. 14. as well I call well left. Lou Darren completely fooled by that shot. He was waiting for the lift. Sunyama chose, look at this, to go straight. Drop shot. And look at Lou Darren. See, he's completely caught. And look at the relief in his face. But 17-14. It's a very crucial time to get a good lead here. Good variation by Sunyama. Body attack. 15, 17. And here we 
probably sense. That Lou Darren really sensing that, you know, we're getting close here. Just three points away from this opening game and how important it is to have the first game in the pocket. It gives great confidence. That's going wide. Doesn't dare to leave it. So it's over. 16, 18. Again, cross court. The attack from that 17, forehand side 18. coming cross court. And surely that should be something that Lou Darren has been uh, looking at when he has been watching videos and preparing for this match. Yeah. Sometimes you've got to watch out when you're throwing yourself on the court because you can actually get injured. But it's becoming such a habit in the men's singles that sometimes you're more on the floor than you're standing up. And sometimes we see that players do get injured. That's very, very nice by the umpire and also, of course, Asuyama just to uh, give uh, Lou Darren a few testing shots here to see that his elbow is okay after having scraping the floor. And now it's just two points for Lou Darren, 19-17. It's out, it's out, but it's really close. So we saw it. 18, 19. I, however, think it's really clever of Lou Darren not to take a challenge on it. He doesn't need that tactical break. He needs to keep going. He's in a good rhythm here. And look at that smash. Perfect, perfect. Wonderful smash. So Applauded by the two coaches 20, as well. Setting up point, two game 18. points. 2018. Asking uh, Darren to get ready a little bit quicker. I'm sure he's trying to compose himself again. Forehand attack. Forehand to forehand. So saving the first one here. 19, and having seen Darren play many matches earlier, I sense that he may be going and go on the attack and try to finish this one as quickly as possible. Let's see. Clever play by Suniyama, really not wanting to lift it. Not wanting to lift. And that is going way long. That is clever, clever, clever play by Suniyama. If you notice, the full rally, just playing drop shots. Not lifting it for the big, big smash. Third game point coming up for Lou Darren. Look at this. Really, really sharp. Cross court. Will Darren here be able to convert? Game point number three. We will know very shortly. Change the shuttle. That's another clever move. A new shuttle is a fast shuttle. 
giving even more power and pace to that fierce attack. And that's going... Yeah. It's in, it's calling. I, for a second, thought that might be going out. And it was so close to that back line. Lou Darren off. Malaysia takes the first game, 22-20. ま、ちょっと Second game, low wall. Play. And we are ready here to commence the second game. Darren to serve from Malaysia. Service over. One. And that did not Low. come over. That was a, a miss here by Lou Darren. Great opportunity, setting it up nicely. The lift a little bit short from Sunyama, but hitting the top of the tape. Here we see Sunyama going cross from the forehand and straight so from the backhand. One, all. He must try to mix it up in a little bit better way because there's simply not variation enough in this. I know he's uh, not that experienced yet and, and one of the new up-and-coming players. And his best ranking has been 26. But in order to get into that top 10 where I'm sure he wants to be, there must be more variation. It's too simple to counter-attack and too simple to just block it. Good start here for Lou Darren. Lucky on this one. Clipping the top of the tape, rolling over. Yeah, once again playing the net. And a strong, strong follow up. Going for the big gun there. Big smash cross court. And look at the follow up. He goes 100% for it. broken string on that last attack from the net. Taking his time, choosing the racket carefully. 
then of course he wants just to hit two or three shots and then he's ready for one up in the second game here after having won the first 22-20. And the bag obviously have to be placed correctly into the kit bag. Four, one. Compartment. Sleep. Good counter attacking shot. Oh, that's a man with confidence. That's with a man with a lot of confidence. Look at this one. You would never play a shot like that unless you have total confidence in the fact that you can actually pull it off. It's going wide. He's Six, slightly in, undecided on that one. Indecision here by Sunayama and making a very easy mistake on the backhand side. He's got to try to get it together now. His first plan, game one, uh, plan one, has not been working, he's not been able to get Lou Darren on these long runs and 60, 70 shots and so on. And he's got to start making his attack count. So it's over. Two, six. Going out, it's going wide. The idea was right. Four, six. Look at that, it's just going wide. And this is really well played by Darren, but he must try not to make mistakes. And now we see Sunyama getting a little bit Five, more confidence six. and leaving shots on the sidelines now. And that can maybe show a sign of change of fortune in this a second game. Six suddenly, all. six all. Being five, one down, and then suddenly six all. Catching up very, very quickly. Taking the chance again seven, this time. Seven, the oh. forehand cross at the net. Previously, we saw how efficiently he did it on the uh, backhand side. This time, it let him down. And here we see the big smash. Good defense by Sunayama. Look at how quick that is. Excellent play. Look at how quick Darren is up there pushing it down the line. This one here. Adding on tremendous pressure and of course setting up an opportunity here. That is awesomely played by uh, Lou Darren.
eight, seven, play. And here we see how Darren is uh, choosing sides. He's got to choose sides. He's not Ball. that confident, out of balance here. Get the first one back, but look at how he is choosing side, standing on that backhand side. And that's too easy for Sunyama to see that. And of course, the smash, not only his favorite, go cross court. Out. So it's all at nine eight. Yep, again, he's reading it well. And here, everybody knows that that corner, that forehand corner at the net is where most players are standing there to cover it, and he should have played it anywhere else but that cross court at the net, of course, lifting it. If he can play with good quality, that will be okay, despite the good smash from uh, Drew Darren. But look at this, look at this, that awesome play. Really well played, that's good play. But it's all set up by these pushes, these really fast and flat pushes. This one here, getting in early and very fast. And then the period on the uh, backhand side. Uh, the game into with a lead of 11 minutes. Yeah, good encouragement here from Taysu Bok, the former coach of Lee Tung Wei. Favorite attack. Yeah, so uh, Once again, going cross court, and as you can see, Darren completely wrong footed. First point, here goes to Sunyama after the break. And just one point in it, 11-10. Trying to play a trick shot here, the net, then setting up nicely. Yeah, that's good play by Sunyama, because he must start using that back line. He cannot just keep it down the whole time and play soft shots and block shots and all that. He must start to move Lou Darren around and not only that, then trust his own defense in order to be able to get some of the smashes back. If he doesn't do that, the game simply become too easy to read.
play. And what again, a beautiful cross court smash. 13 pin. Yeah, that's good play by Sunyama. Well, 13. That's no good. That will be too cruel. Please. That was painful. That was seriously painful. Hopefully nothing is wrong, but that slip was bad. That is not the way to end such a fantastic run that he has had here at the World Championship. That doesn't look good. He needs every fiber in his body he needs everything in order for him to play and pull this one off. He's had so much hardship previously, tried so hard on many occasions. And as I said, I met him in the bus in 2014 on the way back from the stadium to the hotel. And this man was devastated that he has lost that final match, the third men's singles against Japan against Ueda, he wanted it so desperately, he wanted to win. And here he's got a chance, a really good chance of getting to the semi-final of the World Championship, playing for himself as an independent player. And then this is happening. I'm sure he will try to play. It's a matter of whether he can play. He will try. I know him, he will try. Darren is on his feet again. But has he got some pain? Is he uneasy? I think he is. I think he is. He is in a lot of discomfort here. As I say, I know him well. He would definitely stand up and try his best. 
13 all it is. But this is not easy. And going, playing a wonderful rally here. Really taking his chances at the net, pushing it to the deep corner, backhand corner. But he is not good. Is all for Suniyama now trying to keep the rally going as much as possible, making sure he's making no mistakes, making sure that his defense is up and running. But Lou Darren will not be as quick as he was before, he will not be able to get behind the shots, he will not be able to attack as well as he did before. And that's a serious setback here for the man in the picture. I have a sneaky feeling that this match is over. I think he might try to the end of this game. Does he not win it? He might concede, walk over. And let's see. Let's hope not. in the legs anymore the follow-up on that one was also very hesitant oh! and Suniyama is actually doing the only right thing pushing his opponent around he must disregard whatever is happening on the other side stay focused it's not easy to play against someone who's injured we saw earlier in this tournament when that Mia Blickfeld was playing a uh, Ratchenok Intenon she was 1916 up in that second game having won the first and then Intenon got kind of half injured and after that Mia completely lost it and she lost that second game and then followed on by losing the third game as well she lost focus. <laughs> now just five points away. Can Suniyama stay cool? It's called out and we have a challenge. This is a great, great drama here. There is no doubt that Lou Darren has got limited movement, but can he make a count? It's out, I can see it's out from here. It's 17 all, just four points. And this man in the picture really has to stay focused. One challenge remaining for Suniyama. 17 all. Four points away for minimum a bronze medal.
Yeah, what a drama we have here. Blue Darren in the picture, slightly injured. His opponent in the white T-shirt, Sunyama. 17, sorry, 18, 17. Up. Oh, look at that. Really going for the big guns here. Just three points away, I can't believe it. And it must also be said in uh, previous matches uh, over the years that uh, Lou Darren is not the strongest when it really comes to these crunch situations. So 18 all it is. Yeah, I have to stay focused, really stay focused. That's going wide. <laughs> Played his favorite shot down the line, that slice shot from the around the head situation and still missed it. from Malaysia, 2018. Seems he's getting his movement back. The angle seems to heal a little bit better now. He's able to move 2018. Two match points. Yeah, he will play that net and the big smash is coming. Now he's waiting, still playing the net. Good play by Suniyama. Good cross court. Hitting the top of the tape. Too short. Darren is getting it back, but down the line again. Good play by Suniyama. First one saved here, second one down the line again. Lou Darren did the right thing, tried to cover that forehand side. with the man in the picture here be able 19, to save yet another match point Please. and stay in this match 1920 oh, that is really really courageous 20, that is very courageously done by Sunayama here Kanta Sunayama look at that short serve and then the follow-up 20 all and two match point saves that's cleverly played. Just like in the first game, Lou Darren had three game points to win it. Now this is match point number three in the second game. Surf. That's the challenge. That's the challenge. It's really close. Chances are it's in. I think the disappointment here in the face of Lou Darren is too evident. But you never know. What is Hawkeye saying? It's coming now. It's in. It's in. Safe by the bell. Kanta Sunyama here, saved the third match point and 21 all it is. That's going 
going up. And now is set game point number one for Kanta Sunyama. 22-21. But Ludarin is definitely starting to move much, much better on that cross court as well. So, whatever happens, I think this match will go the full distance. And that's it. Good smash down the line by Kanta Sunyama. He will challenge it. Umpire is saying that uh, Lou Darren is calling the uh, challenge too late, but I can assure you that one was in. I'm sitting right on that line, and here we got the confirmation 23 21 in 30 minutes. Final game, love all. So we are ready here for the final game. What Three. a drama it has been. Kanta Suniyama serving third game. Darren seemed to be recovered from uh, the pain that he got when he slipped on the court in that second game at 13 all. Good start here by Lou Darren, smashing his way through again. 4-1 up. Yes. 
Vincent Sauveur. Two, four. Yeah, this is something Sunyama really have to arrest. He's got to get that defence up and going. If he can't lift it, can't play that back line, it's going to be very difficult to win. And of course, when you play the back line, this man in the picture, he will attack it. in once again we see this fast attacking lift into the deep corner again look at this attacking shot cross it is so steep but I think it's starting to take its toll on Lou Darren physically by Sunyama. Again, once again, down the line, down the line. And is that one coming over? I think it is, yes. 8-2 it is for Lou Darren. What a start to this final game. This time lucky. Once again, a broken string, but that was a bit of a miss hit, wasn't it? It was way to the side of the, the sweet spot. Yeah, the umpire is really uh, urging uh, Lou Darren to play. Don't take too much rest. And that's exactly what uh, Lou Darren is trying. Take his time, try to compose, uh, get ready. And he's uh, eight or two on. Play. Definite difference between the smashes of uh, these two players. But this Seven was good enough by uh, Kanta Sumiyama. Who down and out of uh, balance, and it made it quite easy to finish it. Five, 
nine. Call out. Six, nine. Sunyama closing the gap. It's actually very interesting that uh, Sunyama here in this quarterfinal because he was the absolute last man in the men's singles to be invited. He was number 64 and has he made the best of that invitation? And this time, the luck is on Sunyama's side. I, I try to have a look at this one. Just on the top of the tape, tumbling over. And what to do about that if you were the opponent standing opposite that attack? So steep, so tough, so hard and so precise. Look at that. So we are ready to commence after the interval. 11 7. That's going wide. 12 7 for the Baron of Malaysia. Always, always, always important to get on the sport board after having these intervals, whether you're up or whether you're down. So it's over. I guess there's no doubt, can Lou Darren get to 14-15 and minimising the points of uh, Sonyama, he is standing an awesome chance of winning this match. Interesting that uh, the head coach of uh, Japan, Park Kibong. There's also a Japanese women's doubles player playing on the other court, and he had to choose between what Nine, court to sit eight. at, and he chose this Play. men's singles. Closing the gap here, really made the best of the interval. Scored three points against Lou Darren's one point. And 
and somehow I Eleven. sense that this is game Eleven. over for Lou Darren. I know we are still far away, but he is moving slower now. Not taking the same chances and opportunities as what he did earlier. And Suniyama seems to grow in confidence here. Suniyama, I would probably have taken a challenge on that one. It's very close, but you never know. pace again 14 11 for a moment he looked to me like he was a little bit down but picking up the pace quite nicely again see he's moving quicker now playing that next shot setting it up Defensive shot. Uh, bad luck for Sunayama. He really worked hard in that rally. But very, very difficult shots back. But once again, you just have to look at all at the power and precision of this man. When he gets the opportunity, he is able to finish it. Darren extending the lead to six points, a 17 11, and he can definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. Smashing here by uh, Kanta Suniyama, straight down the line and then once again straight down the line. That combination have worked really well for him and uh, it's all about just sticking to that. He's done it to perfection so far, but he's got some catching up to do here. Awesome rally. Awesome rally. Favours Sunayama. 
Look at the body language here by Lou Darren. That's where he's got to pick up, be strong, not show his opponent how he feels possibly inside. I know it's so easy for us to sit out here and, and say that, but he's got to hide it away sometimes. I know it's in his personality. I've seen him for years and years. He's a very nice guy, a little bit introvert, not saying a lot. But sometimes his body language is letting him down a bit. Wants to change the shuttle. Umpire says no. 13, no more 17. time wasting, so to speak. Play. 13 17. Darren Liu challenges, hold in. Unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. So this challenge was unsuccessful, which means, as the umpire is saying, there's 14, one challenge 17. remaining. <laughs> Got to be very careful about using his next challenge because he might need it at the very, very end. So don't Please. go for a chance. Don't be very sure when you call it. It's on your side. You might need it in the, at the very end. 14-17. It's amazing how uh, Lou Darren has been able to pick up from that situation in the second game. I must say, it did not look well, it really did not. I've seen a lot of injuries over the years, and that didn't look well. But he overcame it, and now 18-14 up. Oh, look at that. I think he was a bit scared as well. It was exactly the same situation as what we talked about in that second game. Wild shot. 16, 18. Really taking the chance from that around the head situation. Darren asking uh, for the shuttle to be changed. Sunyama actually did not want to do it, but the umpire agrees with Darren. Darren really trying to buy time here. Got to find the answers. Sunyama is pushing on, trying to stress his opponent as much as possible. Will he be able to catch up? 16 18. So the tournament doctor once again caught on court.
No, he's not allowed to have a second uh, treatment. So the referee is uh, completely correct according to the rules of the game. You cannot have a second treatment and uh, just got some cool spray on top of it. And 19-17 uh, for Lugan. deadly cross court smash twenty match point seventeen saving the first one hitting the top of the tape this is a major drama And saved match point number two. Sinyama really pushing on and playing a perfect, perfect, perfect tumbling net shot and has saved three match points and two of these match points saved by hitting the top of the table Right, look at this, look at this. I'm not supposed to do that, and the umpire is obviously saying, please, Darren. So, match point and number four. 21 20. Please. Lou Darren from Malaysia serving against Kanta Sumiyama of Japan. Coaches from the national setup. And what a fight it was between these two players. Really, really a tough fight. Who Darren has achieved a minimum of a bronze medal here at the World Championship in Nanjing. What a drama. Here we have the final point, and look at that precision again. And the celebration on the floor. He cannot believe it happened.
So here we got the confirmation. What a tight affair. 22-20, 21-23, 22-20. And Lou Darren of Malaysia is into tomorrow's semi-final.